Today's video is on addition theorem on probability. See here the theorem statement states that if S is a sample space and E1 and E2 are any two events in S, then probability of E1 union E2 is equal to probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection E2. And here is the proof of it. See here from case 1. Let us take E1 intersection E2 is non-empty. So, if it is non-empty, it contains some elements. Let, see here, let E1 and E2 contains the sample points. Contains the sample points as it is non-empty. See here, let us take the sample points as A1, A2 and so on, some AK and the next thing here is AK plus 1, AK plus 2 plus and so on AK plus L and the next AK plus L plus 1, AK plus L plus 2 plus and so on a k plus l plus m respectively see here therefore so these are some points and now see here let us consider that the set e1 contains therefore e1 is equal to the set e1 contains a1 a2 and so on a k and the next a k plus 1 and so on a k plus L. See here until A k plus 1. So these are all the elements from set 1. And next considering that the E2 set contains. See here I am taking from this A k plus 1. See here from this I am taking A k plus 1, A k plus 2 and so on A k plus L. And the next A k plus L plus 1. A k plus L plus 2 and so on. A k plus L plus M. See here. So it is the case 1. I consider E2 intersection. E1 intersection E2 is non-empty. When it is non-empty. So it should contain some sample points. Let E1 and E2 contains the sample points. Let us take the sample points as A1, A2 and so on. A k and next A k plus 1, A k plus 2 and so on. Till A k plus l and the next one is a k plus l plus 1 a k plus l plus 2 plus and so on a k plus l plus m respectively so i took the elements sample points even as a1 a2 a3 a k a k plus 1 a k plus 2 till a k plus l and the next for the set e2 i have taken the elements from a k plus 1 a k plus 2 and so on a k plus l and the next a k plus l plus 1, a k plus l plus 2 plus and so on, a k plus l plus m. So these are the two sets. And now if I consider union, see what happens. If I make a union out of it, then E1 union E2 is equal to. So I have to take all these elements see here. So union will be a1, a2 and so on, a k. And the next a k plus 1, a k plus 2 and so on, a k plus l and the next one is a k plus l plus 1, a k plus l plus 2 and so on, a k plus l plus m. So these are all the elements from E1 and E2. So this is union and next coming to intersection. See what is the common points here that is e1 intersection e2 is equal to see let me show you the common points here for this e1 is from a k plus 1 to a k plus l and here also a k plus 1 to a k plus l so these are the common points so a, a intersection e1 intersection e2 is equal to that is a k plus 1 a k plus 2 and so on a k plus l See here, it's very clear. 
from the case 1 e1 intersection e2 is non empty therefore it contains some sample points i have taken few sample points here so e1 is equal to a1 to ak ak plus 1 to ak plus l and e2 is ak plus 1 to ak plus l and next ak plus l plus 1 to ak plus l plus m and this is the union and this is the intersection so now i have to consider probability of now i'll consider the probability of e1 plus e2 see here so it's very clear that is i'm considering probability of e1 plus probability of uh, e2 minus this is probability of e1 intersection e2 so all the values are ready here so this is e1 set this is e2 set and this is the intersection set so see here this will be what is probability of e1 so this is e1 set and i'm making the probability with it so that is probability of a1 probability of a1 see here plus probability of a2 plus and so on probability of ak plus probability of ak plus 1 plus and so on probability of ak plus l see here this is l and the next probability of e2 so what is this e2 so this is e2 that is plus probability of uh, a k plus 1 plus probability of a k plus 2 so the set is ready here see this one plus and so on probability of a k plus l plus probability of a k plus l plus 1 and the next thing a k plus l plus 2 and so on probability of a k plus l plus m and the next one is minus probability of even intersection e2 so what is the intersection thing so these are the elements so this is minus this is minus probability of a k plus 1 minus probability of a k plus 2 and so on minus probability of a k plus l see here so this is the thing i have considered that is probability of e1 plus probability of e2 minus probability of even intersection e2 as i have elements from e1 and e2 and the next e1 intersection e2 i have taken all this so now i have to cancel this that is probability of uh, a k plus 1 k plus 2 and so on k plus l so these elements i can find here this is plus probability of a k plus 1 so this is probability of a k plus 1 this is minus so this is plus and this is minus and so on this is a k plus l this is a k plus l and the rest i'll write and see this will be so what remains here then this will be probability of uh, a1 plus probability of a2 plus and so on probability of ak plus probability of ak plus 1 plus probability of uh, ak plus 2 plus and so on probability of ak plus l till here i have completed and i have cancelled all these till here and the next one here is probability of plus probability of this one a k plus l plus 1 a k plus l plus 1 plus this one is probability of a k plus l plus 2 plus and so on probability of a k plus l plus m see here so these are all cancelled so this is the result so these are all the elements from union so this is a1 a2 ak a1 a2 ak and this is ak plus 1 ak plus 2 till ak plus l so ak plus 1 ak ak plus 2 and ak plus l and the next thing here is ak plus l plus 1 ak plus l plus 2 and so on ak plus l these are all the elements from the union set therefore which is equal to probability of e1 union e2 so i have considered this one that is probability of probability of e 
e1 plus e2 minus probability of e1 intersection e2 and the result here is probability of e1 union e2. Therefore, probability of e1 plus probability of e2 minus probability of e1 intersection e2 is equal to probability of e1 union e2. So, this is from case 1 and next coming to the case 2. See here. So, this is case 2. So, from the case 2, what is case 1 here? Case 1 is a non-empty set. E1 intersection E2 is non-empty. Here, I take E1 intersection E2. So, E1 intersection E2 is an empty set. See here. Here, the intersection is non-empty. And here, the intersection is empty. Therefore, we say that E1 and E2 are disjoint sets. E1 and E2 are disjoint are disjoint sets. Therefore, probability of E1 union E2 can be written as probability of E1 plus probability of E2 since there is no intersection point and see now what I will do probability of E1 union E2 can be written as probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus 0. So, this 0 can be written as probability of E1 union E2 is equal to this is probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus 5. So, what is this 5? What is this empty set E1 intersection E2? Therefore, probability of E1 union E2 is equal to this is probability of E1 plus probability of uh, E2 minus in place of Y, I am writing E1 intersection E2. Therefore, in both the cases, see what are the cases here. The first case here is, so the case 1 is E1 intersection E2 is not an empty set. And the next case 2, what is the case 2 here? E1 intersection E2 is an empty set. For both the cases, we have probability of E1 union E2 is equal to probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection E2. So, this is nothing but addition theorem. So, this is nothing but the addition theorem on probability. See here, this is the addition theorem on probability. So, let me explain you once again. So, it is so simple to understand. Let S be a sample space and E1, E2 are any two events in S. Then, we have to prove that. After then, we have to show that. Probability of E1 union E2 is equal to probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection E2. So, for the case 1, I have taken E1 intersection E2. E1 intersection E2 is a non-empty set. If it's non-empty, it contains some sample points. I have taken A1, A2, A3 until AK, AK plus 1 till AK plus L, AK plus L plus 1 till AK plus L plus M respectively. In the first set, I have taken till A1 to AK and AK plus 1 to AK plus L. And in the second set, I have taken from AK plus 1 to AK plus L. And next, AK plus L plus 1 a k plus l plus 2 till a k plus l plus m see if it is the union so i can write this for one time till a 1 to a k a k plus 1 to a k plus 1 a k plus l plus 1 to a k plus l plus m so this is the union so what is the intersection so the common elements the common sample points here are this one a k plus 1 to a k plus l so this is the intersection part so we have to check this one probability of uh, e1 plus probability of e2 minus probability of e1 intersection e2 so from the element e1 so from this set e1 so this is probability of a1 plus probability of a2 till probability of ak and next probability of ak plus 1 till probability of ak plus 1 and the next from this set probability of ak plus 1 till ak plus l and next ak plus l plus 1 till ak plus l plus m minus what is the intersection? So, this is the intersection. That is probability of AK plus 1, probability of AK plus 2 till 
k plus l so i can cancel this plus and minus and the rest i wrote here so these are nothing but the elements from union that is a1 a2 till ak and next ak plus 1 till ak plus l and next ak plus l plus 1 till ak plus l plus l these are the sample points from E1 union E2. Therefore, from what I have taken, probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection E2 is nothing but probability of E1 union E2. So, from the second case, see here, this is an empty set. So, if intersection is empty phi, then we say that E1 E2 are disjoint sets and therefore, the union can be written as the addition of these two sets. Therefore, I wrote minus, minus 0. So, this is phi. The empty set is nothing but E1 intersection E2 I replaced here. So, in from both the cases, whether E1 intersection E2 is non-empty or E1 intersection E2 is empty. So, we got the result as probability of E1 union E2 is equal to probability of E1 plus probability of E2 minus probability of E1 intersection. E1 intersection E2. So, this is the addition theorem on probability. Thank you so much for watching. If you really like this, please pass it on to your friends.